This is a video on phrasal verbs in real English from myself, Charlie Baxter, and I'm Harry Giles. Hi, everyone. How are you today? I'm sure they're doing fantastic, and they're ready for some stories, some anecdotes. Right, so what was your anecdote, your story you were going to tell me, Charlie? Well, it all happened four years ago. And I was at university and I wanted to go to Africa for a couple of weeks, Ooh. maybe even a month. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I was about to back out of it when another friend said that they would go with me. Okay. So you said you were going to back out of it. Was it, was it already reserved? Yes. Yes, I had placed a reservation with the volunteer company. Okay. But I was nervous, so I wanted to back out of it. Ah. Another friend said they would go with me to support me. Okay, good. I'm glad. Who went with you in the end? Uh, it was that girl called Laura. Oh, Laura. She's a lovely girl, but uh, I'm... I'm with the lady of my dreams. Yeah, don't, don't back out of that one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, so I went to Africa in the summer, but I hadn't actually met Laura before, really. It was a mutual friend. And so we got to the airport ready to take off, and I put my travel bag in to the uh, desk and they said that's too heavy so oh, i yeah. got annoyed and they started telling me the rules and after i heard the rules i decided to back down and give them the money okay right okay so what they were kind of you were frustrated and arguing your point and then you you back down from the from your argument and just said it, it's okay that's it yeah i backed down so i felt like emotionally i went backwards okay. anger and stuff and i let it go okay cool so I had to pay, I had to pay, and then we got onto the flight, and I had a glass of red wine. Oh. Ooh. Was it, was it from Chile? <laughs> uh, I don't know if it was from Chile, but uh, it may have been from uh, Argentina. Argentina. <laughs> sí. Um, Either way, I had the glass of wine and then I started to feel a bit strange. And then I needed to get up and go to the toilet and splash water on my face to wake me up a bit. Um, and I got up and as I got to the door, I suddenly hit black and bam, all I knew was that I had gone straight forward onto the floor of the aeroplane. So you, you fainted? I fainted. Right, yeah. okay. Right, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I woke up with three stewardesses uh, holding my head, fanning me, and with my legs raised up in the back of the aeroplane. Right, okay. So you had what like the people working um in the airplane the the air hostesses that there were three of them surrounding you i uh, i actually felt a bit uh overwhelmed and stressed out because of this and i wanted them to just back off a bit and give yeah. me some space 
Right, okay. So but you wanted them to, to move away, to move back from you. Exactly, yeah. Give me more room to breathe. Right, yeah. to, to back off from you. Okay, interesting. Yeah. And then uh, Laura came and saw the commotion or the trouble and she got me up into my seat and helped me feel normal again. But later in that trip, I was thinking, why did I faint on the plane? And then someone else said that the malaria tablets they had been taking were making them feel really lightheaded and dizzy. And I looked at her malaria tablets and saw they were the same as mine. Okay, so um, you had... You, you heard from other, other people that they were also um, fainting. Um, so when you were worried about the pills making you faint, that kind of backed up um, what you thought, your idea about the tablets, right? Exactly, yeah, because I had thought, maybe it's the tablets that I'm taking. No one else had any effects, so I thought it's not true. But then new information in, and it backed up my idea, my original thought. Yeah, like your, your theory about the tablets was backed up. Yeah, yeah. You could even say she backed up my thought. Cool. So that was the first round of stories with phrasal verbs using back. Now we've uh, got round two with Harry. What you got for me? Yeah. All right. And so I'll tell you a story about uh, something that happened to me a few years ago. And I mentioned this in the latest expressions video. So check it out. Um, so I was at, on a night out with Charlie when we were at university, young, single, chasing ladies. And, um, I was talking to Charlie outside the club and um, I picked Charlie up because he's very light. Nice and weedy. Yeah, nice and weedy. Um, and I was holding him in the air and one of Charlie's friends, let's say kind of friends at the time, um, he got a bit confused he was a bit confused and thought that me and charlie were having a fight or a confrontation so he came over and he punched me in the face <laughs> <laughs> and uh did you uh, did you confront him or did you back down well i don't I didn't really have the chance to back down because I was, I was knocked down on the floor and I was only semi-conscious. I, I remember I couldn't really see anything. Yeah, I remember you were in a bad state. I was in a very bad state. I, I picked you up and you were like yeah. bleeding, everything, awful. But luckily, I have some good friends and my friend, my friend Ant was there and he came over, he saw that I was on the floor and I had been punched and he backed me up. He came over and he tried to hit the guy who knocked me on the ground. Okay, and so does that mean to, to back you up, hitting someone that has already hit you? I don't think necessarily to hit someone, but to, to support someone in a, an argument or in a fight. So Ant backed me up, he came over and he helped me in the situation. Ant then got punched and he fell on the floor as well. Um, and it was crazy. Do you think there was CCTV footage of it? Yeah, yeah. I think there was um, CCTV footage. So if I, if I reported him um, to the police, we could probably show the TV footage to back up 
uh, my police report. Mm. Um, and yeah, if, if I was seriously hurt, I could have used that um, to back up my story. And to back up means give more support, yeah? Yeah, to give support to, um, and to, yeah, to support my theory, my idea, uh, and my, my police report. Yeah, okay. And what would you do with that uh, video if you got hold of it? I would, yeah, I would get the, the DVD and I would back it up on my computer. Meaning so, what? What does that mean? Well, meaning to, to make a copy of something. So I would back it up on my laptop so that we have a, a hard copy of the footage of me being punched. Excellent. All right. So well done there. Thank you for that. There your two anecdotes using phrasal verbs with back. We hope you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye for now.